Universal has announced official details for another one of the worlds of Epic Universe, opening in Orlando in 2025, this time for How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke. We now have confirmation of the names and details for all of the land's rides and attractions, as well as new information for dining, dragon meet and greets, and more. Let's dive into today's announcement, as well as talk about what was not mentioned but still expected in today's news update. One of five worlds of Epic Universe, How to Train Your Dragon Isle of Burke takes up 15 and a half acres and features three rides, an indoor theater show, kids play area, and meet and greets. The time period for the land is set between the second and third How to Train Your Dragon films when Vikings and dragons are living together in harmony. Thanks to new official concept art and renderings, we can see how the many dragon houses that we recently saw in photos will be installed all around the land. Universal says that this Viking village features 30 animated and static dragons with 17 unique dragon species represented. Entering the land, we encounter the 40-foot tall fire-breathing statues within the lagoon in front of us with the coaster trains skating along the surface of the water. The Intamin Steel Launched Roller Coaster for Isle of Burke is officially named Hiccup's Wing Gliders, which will reach speeds up to 45 miles per hour and feature Hiccup, Toothless, plus other dragons on the ride. This family coaster has a minimum height requirement of 40 inches. The story of the attraction has Hiccup putting the finishing touches on his new wing glider. But before he's finished installing all of the wings, Toothless launches us off prematurely, which causes us to skim along the lagoon and low to the ground instead of soaring up high in the sky. The official description for the ride reads, From Hiccup's workshop comes his latest contraption, a winged flying machine that launches aspiring dragon riders into the air, swooping and soaring and encountering Hiccup and Toothless along the way. Get ready to board Hiccup's Wing Gliders, a fun coaster that invites Vikings to prove that they're brave enough to speed through the sky with dragons. The two Skyfly spinning rides are officially named Dragon Racers Rally, where riders soar up to 67 feet in the air and have the choice to control the intensity of their ride. New concept art gives us our best look yet at how the grandstands and queue areas will appear once this attraction is completed. The sport of dragon racing is a celebrated pastime on the Isle of Burke. At Dragon Racers Rally, Burke's new Vikings can practice aerobatic maneuvers and high-speed barrel rolls on a Viking-made dragon riding trainer. You'll need these high-flying, gravity-defying, swooping and soaring skills if you hope to become a champion dragon racer yourself. The land's boat ride is named Fire Drill, which has no height requirement so everyone who can stand on their own will be able to ride. The boat's mounted water cannons can shoot over 28 feet through the air. With fire-breathing dragons everywhere, villagers have to be prepared. Burke's Fire School has been transformed into a watery, interactive boat battle at sea. Board your ship in fire drill and blast your water cannons at flame-like targets and the occupants of every other boat to outsoak other Vikings. The interactive play area within the Isle of Burke is named Viking Training Camp, located near the front of the land. At Viking Training Camp, junior Vikings will discover all types of dragons in this sprawling, colorful interactive play area. Adventures include multiple towers to climb and explore, a fun agility course, Viking drums and chimes to play, an interactive sheep launcher game, plus slides and activities for the youngest Vikings. The live theater show, located at the very back of the land, is named The Untrainable Dragon. Loosely based on the show that debuted with Universal Studios Beijing, Epic Universe's version will take place in a different time period and feature some different characters. But it is confirmed that Toothless will soar above the audience, weighing in at 1,157 pounds with a wingspan of nearly 27 feet. When a new dragon shows up on the Isle of Burke, the Vikings think that they may have finally met their match. 
experience the wonder of dragons on stage and soaring overhead in this spectacular, music-filled, heartwarming live show. After the show, you can meet the characters and dragons at the Haddock Paddock Meet and Greet. These large-scale dragons are brought to life through a combination of human puppetry and animatronics. Universal says Hiccup and Toothless will be available for meet and greets, as well as Astrid, Stormfly, and more. They also confirm that we may even catch dragons flying high overhead. This could be alluding to possible robotic drone technology that Universal has been developing to allow dragon-shaped drones to fly overhead around the back of the land. The land's main dining location, located beneath the large centerpiece mountain, is called Mead Hall. This is an upscale quick service location that features a large dining room. The massive Mead Hall is Burke's main gathering place, a grand chamber hewn from mountain rock where Vikings feast on a hearty menu including meat, fish, sandwiches, and desserts. Beverages include assorted meads, ciders, and ales. While the other dining locations were not mentioned in today's official announcement, we also know about an outdoor dining location that will be named Spitfire Grill, with covered seating overlooking the fire drill boat ride, as well as a snack stand named Grog and Gruel. Shopping locations were also not highlighted in today's reveal. However, a few pieces of concept art for the interiors of shops were shown including the atrium of the Land's Candy Store, which is rumored to be named How to Treat Your Dragon. Rumored merchandise for the Isle of Burke includes adoptable baby dragons, which are thought to be able to interact with the land. These small electronic dragons are expected to make noises, can be trained to do tricks, and will interact with the larger dragons throughout the area. All of the worlds of Epic Universe are expected to include some sort of interactive item that can be purchased, like the wands in the Wizarding World or power-up bands in Super Nintendo World. And these baby dragons are what is rumored for here. That's all for now, but be sure to check out our recent construction update from just a couple days ago for the latest look around progress within the How to Train Your Dragon area as well as the rest of the park. For even more information, as well as behind-the-scenes posts, your name in the credits, and more, consider joining our Patreon to support what we do. Patreon.com slash ThemeParkStop. Thanks for watching. See you next time.